In this new video about Wittlaub's calculation, I will show you a very interesting way of calculating something that is perhaps not so straightforwardly obvious, but you will find it very interesting. As I mentioned in the video when we calculated the lighthouse height, that we could probably measure something in the width, in the distance, or perhaps find out the distance itself rather than the object. In this uh, example, or in this study case, I will show you how uh, you can manage to do uh, such distance measurement. Okay, so this is the screen that shows you the image that I have taken with my smartphone. As you can see, there is a large ship in the distance on the horizon, and I was curious if I can find out how far that ship was. Obviously, in order to find that out, I will need to find out what is the actual physical length of that ship. But let me first explain how I use this picture and what I can work out from the details that I know in the embedded metadata or EXIF metadata of that picture. So as you can see here, this is the EXIF metadata embedded in the digital image of the photo of the smartphone. As you can see, it tells you the camera type, in this case iPhone XS Max tells you the date when this was taken and even the hour, so it was in the morning, 9.04. This is an important, so I can show you how I figured it out, how I find out what particular ship is that, so I can know exact dimensions. The size of the image is 4032 pixels by 2268. And the important thing for me is also the focal length of the lens. So in this case, I'm using the telephoto second lens second camera on the smartphone uh, you probably know this model is a bit older so it has two lenses at the back one is for the normal view which is reasonably wide angle uh, and the second one is like telephoto which is this one so the six millimeter lens over that sensor which is a very small sensor gives you a telephoto impression okay so what we are saying that we can do now uh, the camera, in this case shown as a normal CCTV camera, but obviously this is the smartphone camera, is seeing a total width which is equivalent in pixels to 4032 in our case. So based on that, we actually will find out what is the width of that ship on the horizon in pixels first. So let me show you that. Okay, so this is the picture that is actually uh, digitally enhanced, zoomed in, um, so we can measure the length of this ship in the distance in pixels. So any photo editing software such as Photoshop or in this case I'm using Affinity Photo can measure pixels length of objects within the picture. So the right hand side of the of the boat measures 2023 pixels the left hand side 1918, obviously the beginning of the picture is zero, the end is 4032, which is the width of the, the width of that image. So if we deduct 2023 minus 1918, we get 105 pixels. So as you can see, it's pretty reasonable, I guess, clean edges. So we may have some error of a pixel or two, but 105 pixels is the width that I measure with a telephoto lens. Okay. So now let's find out what is the length of the ship if we want to see, if I want to calculate what is the distance to that, to that ship. Now, because the image was taken at about nine in the morning, as I mentioned, I went on to a uh, Newcastle Harbour website and I found out that the actual, the only ship that left early in the morning from Newcastle it's called KM Sydney and KM Sydney is the ship that has sailed to the south of Newcastle. Now here's a map of the Newcastle and Kayama is somewhere on this level so roughly we calculate that probably is about 200 kilometers from Newcastle to Sydney which by knowing the speed of the ship of about 20 to 30 kilometers an hour uh, it means that if this if this vessel has left at about four o'clock in the morning 
by about 9 o'clock, which is five hours later, we'll be around Kayama or opposite Kayama, which is what exactly I have seen. So that way I know that the ship in question is KM Sydney. By further investigation, we have found out the details about KM Sydney. As you can see here, there is a picture of that ship without obviously the containers cargo on, on the ship itself. But for me, the important thing is the length. The length of that ship is 222 meters. So we know that uh, the length of the ship and these 222 meters in my case, are visible as 105 pixels. So, if we now have this drawing, which is the full image of the telephoto lens, which is 4032 pixels wide, and the ship itself is 105 pixels wide, if we divide 4032 by 105, we get 38.4 times. So that means this ship can be put 38.4 times along the width of this width, total width of the picture. By knowing that the width of the ship is 222 meters, by multiplying this simply, we get 8,525 meters width of that visible scene from my position where I'm taking the photo. So that's an important number to remember, which we will use then to calculate the distance using the VLABS calculator. So 8,525. So let's now switch to my calculator. Okay. So here is the calculator which we will use to calculate that distance. The first important thing to enter, as we always said, is the blue rectangles at the bottom. So as we explained in the actual um, video example of measuring the lighthouse height, we know that the smartphone that I'm using, the iPhone XS Max, uses for the telephoto lens a sensor with 4 mm by 3 mm uh, size. So that means the horizontal will be 4. And the vertical, which we don't need at the moment, so even if you don't enter correctly the vertical one, because we are only going to calculate the horizontal width, uh, doesn't make any difference, but let's enter it just to, to be complete. So this is the sensor dimensions. Now the actual pixel count, uh, we said it's 4032, horizontal, and vertical was 2268. Okay. So now we need to enter the focal length to be 6 millimeters. So in order to release the locked focal length, we need to hold the distance to lock. And then we go into the focal length window and enter 6 millimeters. So now we lock it because we now can't change it since the focal length of that telephoto lens is fixed. So what did we say? We said that we have about 8,000 meters or 8.5 to 5 kilometers width of the scene. So what we do here is top right hand corner where it says scene width, we can enter whatever we want. Uh, remember we said that in the version 2 of this video lapse calculator you can enter any number like we did already for the sensor and for the focal length by double tapping. So now we are going to double tap into the scene width 8.525 meters. And that's the width of the scene we are having so that means the distance to scene must be about 12,787 meters or 12.8 kilometers, let's say. So there you have it. So the distance that we have to the actual ship on the horizon is about 12.8 kilometers. And basically you can measure almost anything as long as you determine what is the width of the object you see in the distance. Now, it is possible to use any camera to do such calculation. We just use smartphone because we've got this EXIF data so I can show you how that is done. <clears throat> but uh, certainly you can do it with a uh, CCTV camera as long as you know the focal length of the lens when you're looking at something. Now, 
if you're having PTZ camera that might be perhaps even easier because what you can do with pan tilt zoom camera you can fully zoom in onto the ship on the horizon and it's possible if you've got powerful zoom lens that you can actually completely cover the ship in the horizontal uh, view of the camera so let's assume you've got a camera that can do that let's find out what would have been the focal length of such a camera if I fully zoom in and I get the whole ship in the field of view so to do that now what we'll do is we actually will first lock the distance because let's say we know what is that distance because we've calculated it already but I'll just show you how you can find the equivalent focal length that will give you that scene so if we hold one second at the distance to scene to lock it uh, remember we had six millimeter if it was the phone smartphone which is the picture taken from the smartphone but imagine now you've got a, a zoom PTZ camera with a powerful zoom lens using the same image sensor so let's say we are not changing the image sensor although you, we can if we want to but if we are not changing the image sensor all we need to do is under the scene width we enter 222 meters because we know the ship is that length and we found out that that is the particular ship we are looking at that's the important part you have to obviously find that out so if we double tap uh, on the scene width and enter 222 meters there what do we get in focal length is 230 millimeters and that's not uh, unrealistic like you may have a PTZ camera where the focal length goes over 230 millimeters so that means with a sensor of 4 by 3 millimeters and uh, 12 megapixels sensor image you you will get uh, the actual 222 with at 12.8 kilometers distance which means you really see the uh, boat fully you can even recognize the writing on the boat km sydney but this is how you can use the calculator even though really this is not a typical cctv usage but as you can appreciate if your uh, lens is precise like most of them are that are not distorting and you know the size of the sensor you know the pixel count you really can do almost any kind of calculation that may be very useful so i hope you liked this uh, interesting study case and uh, i wish you all the best and talk to you soon